The movie opens with a pregnant woman and her husband enjoying a picnic. The man is asleep when the woman suddenly feels the baby coming. She taps her husband who wakes and swings into action, grabbing their bags and a picnic basket and rushing off to their red car. In their hurry, they left everything else behind. Their blanket and the fruits and food they had brought to the picnic. The field buzzed with the sound of numerous insects, excited for the food left behind. A couple of ladybugs teach their three kids how to fly. One falls and smacks its body against a rock, a loud derisive laughter can be heard in the background. The family of ladybugs fly around, with the young bugs enjoying the flight very much. One of the young bugs is waylaid and pursued by a group of five flies. In an attempt to flee from her assailants, and still unskilled at the art of flight, she fell, bouncing over several hard and rocky surfaces, until it lands with a thud. Her wing is broken, and she becomes grounded. She couldn't fly anymore, and sits where she had fallen until the rain begins to fall. She sought shelter under a mushroom, but walked away quickly when the mushroom developed numerous eyes and stared down at her. She finally made a home inside a box filled with cookies, a box the couple had left behind in the haste. When she wakes up in the morning, a variety of insects and ants are carting away food items from the picnic site. Just as the ants are going away with their bounty, their leader stops suddenly, returns to the box to find great loot inside. The ant whistles to the others, and they dump everything they were carrying, and return to carry the box of cookies. They don't yet know the little bug was inside the box, but they find out when the box falls, and the contents spill. As they were putting everything back in the box, they find the bug on her back and surround her. Before they could do anything, a lizard comes along, ready to eat the ants. The bug mimics the sound of a predator stronger than the lizard, and it runs for dear life. The ants are grateful, and welcome her into the fold. The ants communicate using whistles and signs, there are no words throughout the movie. As they carry their box towards their home, a group of red ants blocks their path. Their leader climbs into the box, grabs one cookie, and laid it before the red ants as a tribute. The red ants were not satisfied with the offering, they want to take everything. They all pile into an empty can, and go after the box. As the box of cookies falls over a cliff, the small can in which the red ants are lodged fall, and follow right behind it. Both containers sail slowly downstream. Both groups navigate the water expertly, avoiding rocks and hanging tree branches, until the red ants in the can nudge the box, forcing it to collide with rocks. The bug falls into the water, and is chased by a shark which runs happily after it. It is a very scary chase, and just as the shark opens its mouth to swallow the bug, the ants make a long line with their arms connected, and pull the bug out of the water. But in pulling him out, they didn't see the danger ahead. Their box as well as that of their enemies, the red ants fall off the cliff, and land heavily in the water. They are able to get all their cookies out of the box, before it sinks, and they pile everything up on the banks of the river, and at the command of the leader, they all swing into action, carrying the goodies on their heads, and forming a straight line as they marched on. As they march, the bug finds a group of bugs like herself, and sadness envelopes her. She goes to stand by them, watching them as they fly. While she regrets her inability to fly, but she tries to fly and fails. She goes back to the group of ants, and continues her journey with them. The red ants pick up the trail, and march after the black ants as they carried their bounty homewards. At night, they pile the bounty up and surround it, while the bug and the lead black ant take the watch. In the morning, they continue their journey. The bug stops suddenly, and looks back while the black ants continue the journey. She sees the red ants coming quickly behind them, and she rushed forward to inform the lead ant. They make a plan using the bug, whose red body made it difficult for the red ants to identify the black ants. Just as they escape the red ants, a car comes very close to squashing them on the asphalt, as they are crossing the road. The leader whistles just in time and they all stop, waiting until the car had gone, before they continued their journey across the road to their anthill. The little bug feels like it doesn't belong, so it stops while the others walk towards the anthill. One of the ants turns around and whistles, inviting the bug to come along. The bug follows them in, as the ants present their booty to the queen. 
When the queen tastes the booty brought home by each group, she lays an egg or two for the other ants to carry to the egg room. When it tastes the cookies, it laid more eggs than it had ever laid all her life. It was so much that it surprised all the other ants. One of the red ants is seen monitoring the proceedings, and it quickly rushes back to report what it had found to her queen. Now we see numerous red ants marching, like they were going to war. The black ants close their lair at night, and goes to sleep. The bug is still one of them, sleeping among them as peacefully as though they were all kin. While she sleeps, she dreams of flying with her siblings and parents, perching on flower plants and friends. The bug goes out of the ant hill to try its wings, they are growing back slowly. It could lift itself off the ground, with the tiny wing beginning to form. Early the next morning, the ants get a warning from their queen, and step out to find that they have been surrounded by red ants. The red ants had arrived with some powerful weapons, from slingshots to forks and insecticides. They started pelting the anthill with slingshots, smashing holes into the hill. Then they fired a cannon containing toothpicks onto the anthill. The black ants began to fight back. First, they dropped a box of cotton bud into the crowd of red ants. Then they dropped several vials containing different drugs into the crowd of marching red ants. But the red ants seemed to have more firepower. Some of the black ants and the little bug go to have a meeting with the queen of the black ants. After a short while, one black ant and the little bug walk down to a room, where an ant is staring at what looks like a board game with numbers on it. The ant had moved a few numbers around on the board, leaving a small hole. They communicate with the black ant in charge of the arsenal. He walked away and returned with a box of a matchbox, and opened the covering of what looked like crayons. The ants carried the crayons up to the roof and set them up. Just as we see the red ants begin an assault on the entrance to the anthill, with what looks like a pineapple. At the top of the building, the black ants opened the box of matchbox, pulled out the single matchstick inside, and lit the fuse on one of the crayons, which flew upwards like a rocket, before landing and blowing up on the red ants who were very scared. Unfortunately, the matchstick goes off after lighting one crayon bomb. The red ants celebrate and continue their assault on the anthill, home of the black ants. They continue the assault with the pineapple, and shoot slings shots with smooth pebbles and forks attached to them. While the black ants were running scared, the little bug remembered that it had seen an insect carry away a box of matchbox. She speaks to the ants, and they fashion a kite for her. And she flies off on the kite, but was attacked by a spray from the red ants which destroyed his kite. She was forced to fly and she did. Flying off towards the picnic venues, the spot where they had picked up the box of cookies from. She found the matchbox right on the picnic basket and tries to lift it. She couldn't, it was too heavy for her and noticed an insect coming for the matchbox and hid. The tiny insect lifted the matchbox over her head, and began to run away with it. The little bug followed behind her. Meanwhile, the battle rages on. The red ants are assaulting the anthill heavily, smashing the entrance with the pineapple. A lookout black ant watches, hoping to see the little bug return. The little bug followed the insect with the matchbox. The insect carries the matchbox into a tiny brick house, and the little bug wades through the waters, following it. A frog rises out of the water, eyeing the little bug. Just as the little bug finds a stick of matches, the frog grabs her from behind, and topples the house in a bid to take the little bug through the window. A beautiful field of flowers is shown, almost like a flashback. The bugs are flying happily, perching right on a canopy of a mushroom. The bug wakes suddenly, while music plays in a stereo. She is in bed, being nursed by the insect who lives in the toppled house. She brings her a flower which she sucks, then begs the insect for the matchbox. The insect allows her to have the matchbox and this time, she is able to fly with it. She makes her way back and again, we hear the loud cackling laughter the bug had heard as a child. It was the houseflies that had chased her, and caused the fall that damaged her wing. They were about to do the same thing to another bug. The matchbox falls off her grip, and she calls out to the flies. She farts in the face of one of them, and it drops dead. The others pursue the little bug. She is faster now, racing ahead of them and making them fly too fast. He forces them to slam into the lamp of an oncoming car, and dies. She frees the other bug and takes the matchbox once more, flying towards the anthill. The red ants are winning, the anthill is almost destroyed as the bug returns. With the matchbox, Hope returned to the black ants. She lays the matchbox in front of them, and they greet and hug. 
The red ants are scared, as the black ants light the rockets. There are lots of fiery fireworks, happening all over the battleground. And the red ants run for dear life, the battle is won. The ants are grateful to the bug, and gather to thank him in the presence of their queen. At the end, the bug can be seen flying again, with the young bugs, over the grasses. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.